What is going on, folks? Nimble Thor here, and thanks for joining me once again in my mobile gaming quest where I document playing a new mobile game every single day, sharing the experience with you guys as I always do here on YouTube. And today I found a very interesting game called Like a Boss, and it's actually made by Versus Evil, which some of you guys might know because they also made the Anti Hero and the Banner Saga. Their, their banner saga, I guess. Uh, two very, very popular premium games. But this time they have, uh, they've tried making a free-to-play... Oh wait, let's skip this here. Uh, oh, a new enemy, nice. They've tried to make a free-to-play RPG, and of course we're gonna have a look at it here today. So far, I'm really liking it. First up though, if you do want to check it out, the download links are down in the description box uh, down below as always. Just be aware that there is an additional download uh, of a few hundred megabytes actually, once you've installed the game. Uh, but the cool thing here is that the game actually allows us to divide the download size up into various smaller downloads. So if you want to get started right away, you can do that, and then we'll just download uh, throughout the game instead of downloading those 200 megabytes or so right from the beginning, which is actually pretty cool. This this is just one of the campaign levels here, but there is an auto system, that's what I wanted to say, uh, which is very beneficial for when, I, <laughs> for when I have to record a video while playing, uh, because it makes it a bit easier. But I've found it to be pretty nice, actually. And I know that might be a bit controversial, because many people do indeed like to hate on auto systems. But in this game, I've actually find it quite okay, because then the game just becomes more about using the skills at the right time. And obviously, some of the objectives of, of some of the levels, uh, you probably do want to turn it off so you can do that correctly. For example, that's, well, there was a level where you had to defend um, some certain minions. It wasn't a required, you guys can see here the, uh, the different objectives. It wasn't a required one. For example, the last one here, keep your health above 60% optional, right? So uh, that might be a bit difficult if you play with auto on, and I feel like that's a pretty nice way of doing it. You can definitely still enjoy it by having that off, so that's, that's pretty cool, I think. Anyway, so first of all, we start out choosing our character. I, I went ahead here and chose the archer. You can play as a warrior, an archer, or a mage. I always tend to go with archers because I like them in nearly every single game I've played ever. <laughs> every single RPG, whenever I can, I, ch I, I tend to go uh, with an archer. Obviously, they have different skills, each of them. There's actually a pretty cool skill system in this game that I'm going to show you guys later on that allows for both passive and active skills. You guys can see one of the skills right here, for example. This one is kind of cool, where it scatters uh, the arrows uh, like that. And then we've got another one here that actually slows down enemies and deals a pretty high amount of damage, actually, to them. So far, the game is pretty easy and you level up very quickly, which I also enjoy. And one thing, actually, I will let you guys know, once we, once we finish this one, I want to show you guys that we can actually have our minions, these small guys that run around with our character here, we can actually have them raid levels that we've already played. Uh, typically, a raid system is bad news because it probably means that the game is very, very grindy. But in this case, um, it's not actually that bad because the way, the way they've implemented it is so that every time you level up, you get full energy that you can use on raids, and then you can send out your small minions on these raids. They happen instantly, you don't have to wait for them to happen, you, you, so there's nothing you can skip by paying premium currency, which of course is always great. Um, but uh, but you just you just uh, you just start them and they finish immediately and that's a very nice way of getting new loot. But I want to encourage you guys to go do those as often as you can because every time you level up, you're gonna get new energy. So you might as well just spend all of the energy whenever you can. We're gonna go have a look at that right now. Oh, but first of course we have to uh, we have to open our chests here. Let's have a look at what we got. So we got some of these uh, recipes, some... Oh, this one we can actually uh, create now then, craft then. Because crafting is a big part of this game and uh, and it's, it's kind of fun actually. So first you need the crafting recipe, no thanks, don't want to rate it right now. First you need the crafting recipe, but you can go in here to the crafting screen and you guys can see we probably have some new stuff that we can craft, which I definitely want to do. Oh, we have a new bow, guys, guys, we can create this bow. This, uh, this one I actually don't have, so you guys can see that it has a higher item level, it has extra attack, 19 extra attack and five extra critical definitely gonna craft this one uh, this is now the crafting screen where we take some of this iron here and we drag it over here and we take some more uh, come on come on seriously why can't I? okay <laughs> there you go and we click craft and now we can equip this new weapon which is obviously gonna make us stronger so that's how the crafting works after you finish the level you get these uh, recipe items that you need to create these better items for example we can create this one up here now which is actually kind of cool uh, let's see it has a, that's obviously the head piece. It's way, way better than we've, uh, what we've got on because honestly, I don't think we have anything on us right now. So let's try dragging some iron down here again and let's see how how strong this one will become. It's kind of difficult to drag this. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing my best here, but it's kind of difficult. I don't know, there's something about the UI here that the developer should probably look into. I mean, come on. Seriously. Oh, oh, I got it. 
Oh, I got it, guys. I got it. That seriously took me 30 seconds. Yes, I cut out 30 seconds of this video here just to drag that iron over there. That kind of sucks. But let's equip, <clears throat> let's equip this one right away. Okay, let's get back here, guys. <laughs> enough crafting for now, enough crafting for now. I want to talk about the monetization real quick while we go have a look at how it works out when these minions play for us. So, for example, let's take... Uh, which one did we play just before? Let's actually, let's see if we can take this one up here. No, we can't raid that one just yet. Uh, let's press play again. Let's, what about maybe this one up here? Yeah, we can definitely raid this one. So the monetization, guys. The monetization is quite okay, although the inner purchases, I will say, do go all the way up to 100 US dollars. And yes, we can buy chests just as the ones you get from here. You guys, look at, look at all these chests. Oh, we got some rare ones, some really good ones down there. So let's collect these. We can buy these for real life money. Obviously, um, it's a nice way to get new items. But honestly, I don't feel the need to spend any money because we get so many items. Just look at this, guys. I'm gonna skip it all now because it's really just it's really just too much. So let's see if we can skip it all here uh, by clicking down here in the bottom. We should be able to. Yes, there we go. So look at this, guys. We got quite a bit here actually, and we can double reward the rewards by paying again premium currency. So now you guys can start to get an idea of where this premium currency might be needed down the road. Whether or not this game is a bit uh, too money hungry is a bit too early to tell for me at this point. But so far, it actually seems quite okay. Uh, yes, the inner purchases are there, but I honestly think it's mostly for progressing quicklier in the game. I mean, there isn't really a huge multiplayer aspect to the game. There is a... The reason I say it like that is that, yes, we do have guilds. Um, and in the guilds, you do compete against other guilds and you're gonna get ranked. But, you know, your individual, you know, spending or your individual gear doesn't matter as much as in, for example, if it was an uh, is, if it was an MMO and actually had online PvP, which w this one doesn't seem to have so far. But that's about it for the game, though. Uh, there's way more we could go into. We could go into the the um, the, the guilds. We could go into the friend list, the, the the shop, the quest, the achievements. Obviously, we've got all of this stuff in here, which is really really great. But before we end off. I did promise to show you guys the skills, and we are gonna have a look at the skills. Look at this, guys. So we've got two skills right now, and this one is actually leveled up as much as it can be, which is a multi-shot, and this one was the one we started out with. But look at this. Look, if we scroll down here, look at how many skills there are. There's a lot to unlock here, and I'm really liking that. There's definitely some depth to this game. Now let's go have a look. We have six, uh, we have six skill points, guys. What should we upgrade? Should we upgrade? Ooh, critical strike. I wanna upgrade that one, so we're gonna unlock that. And let's see what else do we have here. We have decrease the attack power rating of enemies when you hit uh, by 20 for 8 seconds. So that seems pretty beneficial as well. What about this one? Increase your attack power rating by 12 for 8 seconds um, every time you cast a skill. I guess that's pretty cool as well. Gonna upgrade that. And we can actually go up here and upgrade this one a few more times. But because it just gives more power and I definitely, I definitely want to get as much as that as possible. So that is the skill system, guys. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? I, I don't know. I don't really see how you wouldn't like the skill system, but don't you like this game? Do you think it will become too much pay to win? I mean, so far, the, the my only concern with the game is that, for example, to de-skill, like if you want to unlearn, remove a skill from the skill bar, you're going to have to pay premium currency to do that. And I'm a bit afraid that there are a bit too many opportunities for the developers to uh, put these, uh, you know, premium currency requirements on different aspects of the game. But as long as they don't do that, this game definitely gets a glowing recommendation from my end. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and uh, I, I kind of hope that you guys will as well. So let me know what you think about it down in the comment section down below. And with that said, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I will see you guys around tomorrow.